iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad. I'm here to show you how to install Code Fusion 9 on Server 2008 R2. Uh, this is a clean install, so I'm going to show you from the beginning. Let's go ahead and add a role. Next. Click on web server. We'll make sure we click on these. And one more down here. Click next. Install. As complete, we want to close it. Now let's go test and make sure that it installed properly. So we can go ahead and Internet Explorer. Go ahead and put localhost in here. And we see that it's working. This page came up. This is the basic page you get. Uh, we'll go ahead and minimize it. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the cold fusion install you should be able to get this from Adobe's website you can get it for free actually uh, they give you a developers edition so you can test things all right once we get here we go ahead and press next go ahead and accept Um, if you have the real version, go ahead and put your serial number in. You can try a 30-day trial. After 30 days, they put you into the developer edition. But right now, I'm going to show you how to install on developer edition. Uh, since we only have one instance of ColdFusion, we're going to go ahead and do a server configuration. If you have more, we'll go ahead and do this one. Uh, I don't need any of these things. If you want to keep any of these things, you can go ahead and keep it uncheck all this we're going to press next that's the default directory that code fusion will be installed i'll leave it here you can put it wherever you want we want to put it on all iis websites if you don't you can configure it to whatever website you want uh, right here is the default directory where you install your iis at go ahead and press next Make a password. Make sure you remember this. All right, we go ahead and enable this. I advise you probably make it the same password so you won't forget. And press next. We're going to go ahead and press install. All right, once it's complete, we go ahead and click on done. All right, we're going to go ahead and put that password in that you had put in earlier. Go ahead and log in. Okay, once it's complete, we're going to go ahead and press OK. We go in here and set the summary. And it shows you all your settings. So we can go ahead and close that. So we have one more test to make sure that it's worked. So we're going to go ahead and head to Notepad. And here we're going to do a CF script. Then we're going to do a write dump. So 
server. We go ahead and close it. All right, now we can go ahead and save this in the root directory of your ISS. Go ahead and go to computer. Go to all files. And go ahead and name this index dot cfm all right now we want to go ahead and go to start computer double check is in there there it goes uh we don't need these other files you can keep you want to but these are the files that start up we can go ahead and delete them And now we can go ahead and test to make sure it works. So go to any. We'll go ahead and put localhost back in here. And there you have it. Here goes the things you have right here, and it shows all your Cofusion things. Um, this page comes up. That means that it's reading the Cofusion pages, and you can go ahead and start working on Cofusion and making pages. I'm Rashad. That's my tutorial in Code Fusion 9. Thanks for watching.